traveling from Bocknes Strand and Cannon Rocks and we are heading to another coastal town, riverside town called Busman's Rivier Mont. That and sounds very interesting. Yeah, it's only 13 kilos from here, so it's close by. We love that. Love that. <laughs> Welcome to Busman's River Mouth. That's interesting. Yeah. So they've combined Bushman's River Mouth and Bushman's Rafir Mall. Yes, that's cool. Love right? that. And I believe it consists of Rivers Bend okay. and Bushman's Village. All right. So I'm hoping to see both those places. You've told me a lot about it. Yes. You said how beautiful it is, so I hope it lives up to that. I'm sure it will. Start. Yeah, look at these trees. Trees and the birds. Mm. Look at these trees, these trees, these trees, these trees. And yes, the Bushman's estate. Bushman's estate. Alright. Yeah, these trees are amazing. Look at the trunks. They look like fingers and knuckles and stuff. Yeah. They are gorgeous. Hi, hey, they make a canopy for us. Yeah, that's incredible. Beautiful. Oh, I see Sunshine Coast. I forgot to tell you yesterday. Yeah. I never knew that we're on the Sunshine Coast and that the entire section it seems between PE and East London is called the Sunshine Coast. I didn't know it's all that, that whole piece between the two cities. I, I've heard of the Sunshine Coast but I didn't know how long it was. That's so we long. are slap bang in the middle of it. We are. Serendipity. Trees are phenomenal. Yeah. That's all I'm seeing at the moment. Oh, the trees. Bonsai. Giant bonsai. <laughs> and this one too. Yeah. Oh, it's two. Looks very cool here, babe. No, it looks very really nice. So, bigger than I thought. It's quite a big village, yes. Definitely. Yeah. Look at the church. Yes. That's Reformed Church. Dias Congregation. That's fantastic. What a name. I must say it's a very different design for me. Yes. For a Dutch Reform. Wow. Look at the church bell. 1950. 1950. <laughs> I'm going to make a turnaround. That is different, eh? For Dutch Reformed? Yes, very different. Very, very different. I can't say we've ever seen a Dutch Reformed church like this. No. You don't even have to look for the cornerstone. No. They told us. Yes. 
I'm going to take a walk around. Yeah, I think so. I think it's uh, quite special. How cute is this? And there's a little gecko there on the one pole. So pretty. Yes, the memory wall. Youth Action 1974 Ah, oh, here's the cornerstone Twentieth of September 1950 Very good looking church. Very nice. I see they say the official name of the town is Busman's Refirmont. Okay. So we shall call it that. Then we call it Busman's Refirmont. But in English, it's Bushman's River Mouth. Yes. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> that looks pretty old to me. There's a wagon, wagon on it. It's and a it's a foot tracker. Yeah. Centenary. Um, stop here. Just love those, eh? I love them <laughs> so much. Eighteen thirty eight to nineteen thirty eight. Food Trekker Centenary Celebration. How pretty is this? In the cement work. find these memorials everywhere, eh? Almost every single place we get to. Yes. 
that one's got some character. This is accommodation, oh, though. That's mm. cute, eh? Is it? Looks like it. Or apartments. Look at that train, coach. And a for real one. Yes, it's a for real train coach. And it's on tracks. Yes. How cool is that? It's beautiful, eh? It looks in excellent condition. Yeah. Fantastic. That's quite cool. Yeah. Great that you saw that. Yeah, I'm so happy I saw it. On tracks, no less. <laughs> So it looks like the Sunshine Coast is notorious for shipwrecks, eh? Because they say Busman's uh, Mont is the site of many shipwrecks, the best known of them being the Volo, a Norwegian bark wrecked near the river mouth in 1896. Wow. Well, it's the, apparently it's the third most dangerous coast in the world. Really? Uh, after, first it's the Bermuda Triangle, then there's one in Japan, and then it's this one. That's the, interesting. The one in Japan, there's volcanoes that erupt from under the, the sea. That wrecks ships. And then, of course, we all know the Bermuda Triangle. And then this one. Apparently it's a, a rough coast. Well, clearly, if oh. so many ships wrecked over all these centuries. Yes. So is this the... The river mouth. Okay. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, yeah.
this is beautiful, yeah. The beauty is never ending. Wild. So I'm intrigued to see where this road goes. Because I see the dunes. It's gorgeous here, hey? Oh. Look at this, these rocks. Yes. They make like a straight line almost. Yep. Ndlambe, environmental conservation. I take my hat off to them. They really make an effort. Yeah, no, this is really beautiful, yeah. There's parking, but no camping. <laughs> or tenting. <laughs> That's for you. Yeah, I'd pitch my tent there one time. <laughs> You know what? If I were on board, I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> Interesting that I think this is their desalination plant. No! Yes. Yeah, it's their water. They've got a desalination plant going here. Desalination? Yes. That is incredible! Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, will we come back here? Yes. That's incredible. There, there's the big tank. Wow, babe. Wow, very interesting. It's, we haven't seen one before. No, no, we haven't. Because I was just reading in the Bushman's River Mouth Ratepayers Organization's newsletter yeah. for April, which was last month, how the water shortages are still affecting. Oh yes. Lots of the people oh. here, hey. Addo Elephant National Park, Woody Cape section. Woody Cape section. I've read about it so often. Apparently it's like a vast strip of vegetation which reaches from Alexandria, I think, obviously to here. Wow. Right next to the dunes. And it's the first sign I've seen referring to Woody Cape and it's part of the Addo Elephant National Park. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> so they say Woody Cape is a narrow stretch of pristine indigenous forest bordering the dune field. Bush pig, bush buck, Cape Grysbok, Steenbok, common diker, vervet monkeys, mongoose. Everything can be found in this habitat. That's crazy. I'm but so if you look up there, look at that there. Right. That's it at the back there, I'm sure. Wow. I think it's this. And this, yeah, look at this dune in front of us. I'm so glad we saw that sign. Yes. I was wondering where the Woody Cape section is. I just want to walk over the top of this dune to see what it looks like on the other side. Yes, you do that. Stranded. Seal pups. Turtles and seabirds. Oh, there's a number you must call. If you find them stranded, yeah. It's so incredible. These dunes are big. Ugh. We don't have big dunes like this in the Western Cape. Well, not that I've seen. So these dunes stretch all the way from Alexander Bay through to here. Crazy. Look at the horses. Wow. 
Wow. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Okay, let me go down here. Place. This beach is beautiful. Dunes for Africa. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. I was re just reading up about the animals and the birds that one finds yeah. here. We know, you and I know a yellow and a red hornbill and a ground hornbill. Yes. Here you get trumpeter hornbills, crowned hornbills, ground eagles. Wow. Sounds all incredible. That must be amazing to see, eh? And I'm just as impressed with the desalination plant. Yeah, that's fantastic. They had to make a plan, but you can see it's new. They had to make a plan to get water because of the drought. Oh, reverse osmosis desalination facility. That's incredible, eh? That is cool. They call it the Albany Coast. Isn't it incredible that a town that I would have thought is uh, just a holiday town has so much more? Yeah, it's I, not just a holiday town, yeah. It's incredible. Do we have time for a little bit of history? Yes. I thought it's very interesting how the town got started. The town was established in 1897 by farmers from nearby Patterson, Cookhouse, Somerset East and Craddock, okay. where they were granted permission to camp along the banks of the Bushman's River during the Christmas holiday season. Land leases during the early 1900s led to private land ownership and modern development though electricity and running water only became available in the 1980s. What? Now in the 1980s and look what it looks like today. Today, yeah. Incredible. Oh, you're here at the church? No, that's in, yeah, this is the Anglican Church, St. David's Anglican Church. I thought that history was quite cool because I would never cool. have thought that electricity and water only came in the 1980s, would you have? No, I would have thought they had electricity ages ago. That's according to Wikipedia. <laughs> Stained glass windows. This is a memory wall. Oh, 
How's the bell? The bell was presented in 1939. Then the tower was erected in 1970. So the bell is from 1939 and the tower was erected in 1970. Yes, a little sundial. This sundial stands in memory of Bob and Ina Dower and David and Joan Collett, who worshipped and served in this parish, 1973 to 1997. I don't see a cornerstone anyway. I don't find a cornerstone to say how old the church is. Really? Yeah, no way. But it must be pretty old because there's other things there from 1912 and the bell from 1939 and things like that. So. Oh, so it must be old. old. Was it a sundial? Yes, it was a sundial. Is it accurate? Ah, it's in the shade, I couldn't see. Uh -huh. This how this tree grows perfectly yeah. over the road. Oh, yo. No. Perfect views over the estuary. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. Yeah, I want to ask the question you always ask. What did it look like 200 years ago? Oh. With no human intervention. It must have been incredible. Can you imagine? It must have been wild. to the Catholic Church. Yes, ma'am. <gasps> wow. Look at it. It's quite a substantial church. Oh, it's pretty. St. Anthony's Catholic Church. Oh, look, at, look at its bell tower. Yes. Cute, eh? Love that. Yeah. It's got a little triangular roof and a cross. <laughs> Courts are in good shape. And it is up, ready and waiting. Oh, yep. it's an even newer one. Wow, oh, is it? No, oh, no, they like their tennis. That's for sure. That uh, Rivers Bend is also an area in Busman's Refirmont. Busman's Refirmont is yes, right. Yes. Bushman's built it. 
That sounds cool. <laughs> Got lots of new builds going on, so it's yeah. close. They do a lot of business. Diaz Grande. Yeah, the hey. road works, filling up the potholes. With sabunga and not tar. What does that mean, sand? Yes. So how long does that last? Until it gets washed out by water. So it's not a permanent repair is what no, you say? No, it's not a permanent repair, but at least it's a repair. Right, exactly. That's just as beautiful this side. Yeah. <laughs> we, I think we're through the industrial area. <laughs> so River's Bend leads me to believe that somewhere here, the river makes a bend. That would be, I don't know, do you think that would be an accurate assumption? I think you hit the nail on the head there. It took me a while to figure it out, I must be honest. <laughs> <laughs> How is this tree? It's like an aloe type of yes, tree. Yes, I want to say the same thing, but... Check those red hot pokers on it. It's huge. They've got incredible trees here. Yeah. So I'm happy to have found the tree instead of the river's bend. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's somewhere here, but we don't know where to look for it. Nah. Can you go down here? You think we might find the river's bend? Uh, I think so. Vantage point though. Pretty this place, very pretty. Agreed. Sure. Smell the fire. Not felt fire, bright flash fire. Mm. Pizza yeah. oven fire, I think. Mm -hmm. That's the first indication that we are in pineapple country, eh? Yes. First pineapples we've seen. Yeah, and they're selling it next to the road. Fantastic. Busman's Rafir Mont. It was fantastic. It is beautiful. That river mouth is gorgeous. Yeah, no, I mean the scenery, the dunes. Crazy. And the, the trees absolutely. are absolutely fantastic. Now I'm really happy we came to visit, yeah. It was really great.